Welcome to State of Tech. We're going to take a look at the newly updated sketch for the iPhone. If we open up the application, it's going to load us here into our camera and you can see the whole new redesign for sketch. Now the one thing that we're going to do right here off the top of the camera is you see we have that arrow right there in the middle of our screen. So whenever I choose to tap to focus on the screen, it's going to reposition the arrow to point at that specific instance. So right now I'm going to try and tap to focus on these SD cards right here. And so once I've got it in focus, I'll go ahead and snap the photo and you see that it automatically adds that arrow here for me to go ahead and annotate my photo with. So I can go ahead and drag and resize it, do all the things that I normally would do with Sketch, and I can even resize the photo. And then I can go ahead and tap there and then tap to add text. So it's going to get me into my notes and the annotations very quickly right here on the iOS 7 interface. So if I tap retake, it's going to bring me back into the camera. And then I can obviously go ahead and tap in the lower right hand corner and load up some photos from my camera roll. I can even view some settings in here right now. So I'll tap in the settings icon in the top lower right hand corner. I can choose to auto resize my canvas, sign out of Evernote, view restrictions, legal, and then show the startup screen. I'll hit done. Then we'll hit the horn icon above that, which is going to be any announcements. And you see I can scroll through and view all the announcements from Evernote here right inside the application. And then I can just quickly jump to a new note by hitting the new note button right here in the top right hand corner. And I can go ahead and just start creating and annotating without having to even have an image here inside of the note. So I'll tap new. And it's going to bring me back out here to this field where I can go ahead and select a new photo. So let's select this one right here. You see it brings the photo up and now I have some options here. If I hit in the bottom right hand corner I bring up my tools palette where I can crop, blur, you highlight or mark down, create boxes, add text and even add the arrows. So if I go ahead and select the arrow button I can tap in the lower left hand corner and now I have some options. You see I have color palettes on the left hand side of the screen and then I have the arrow size in the bottom portion of the screen. So I'm going to select blue, which is going to give me a blue arrow. And then I want this arrow to be big, so I'm going to select the bigger one. And I'm going to tap anywhere on the field, and it's going to add that arrow for me. And I can even go ahead and drag it out and select and create new ones. Tapping on an arrow, I can go ahead and delete it. Tapping on this one again, I can go ahead and resize this however I'd like to. I'll go ahead and point it into the middle. And now we'll do tap out of there so I no longer have the arrow selected. Now do be careful because if you tap anywhere on the screen with a tool selected, you are going to create a new one. So I'll hit delete. And you're going to want to use two fingers to pinch and zoom or to pan around this actual image so you can get everything the way you want it to. Now I'll go ahead and bring it and center it up here. And now I'll hit the tools and let's go ahead and add some text. We'll tap on the field. And then we'll hit return if we want to add a new line or done just to select done. Now I'll tap on the text, I'm gonna go ahead and resize it. You see I can drag the bottom right hand corner, that little blue dot, I can drag it to make the text a little bit more smaller so I could get it in there and fit on the image. Now I'm gonna zoom back in. I can tap on the text, bring it into edit mode and I can even change the color if I'd like this one to be an orange text. I'll tap on the orange and you see it automatically adjusts the color of the text. So even if I select white, I can go black. Whatever color I'd like to choose, I can make it this color right here. Now if I hit the options again, I'll go ahead and draw a box. You see I can do a line, circle, or a rectangle. If I tap on there, just tap out there, and now I can go ahead and drag this out. And you see I can make it the shape that I've selected. Or I can go ahead and delete that shape as well. Now I have some highlight markers here, so I can go ahead and highlight in specific instances. You see I can just highlight here. Tap on that, and I can go ahead and delete that. And then the one above that is going to be more of a highlighter, or I can add some question marks or exclamation points right here. So I can add this, so that way you can take caution to this, and you can read that right here. And I can even select a little pointer to point in a specific direction. And then if I tap in the A, I can tap Wow, which is going to give me some annotation notes right here. So I can highlight an area of interest. Go ahead and tap out of there, tap on the tools again. I can even bring up right here the blur so I can select a specific instance of the image 
and it's going to go ahead and blur that image out for me so I could delete sensitive material on an image. And then the last one is going to be crop, where I can go ahead and crop the image to a specific area if I wanted to just use that area for the image. You see it crops it down for me. Now when I'm ready to, if I hit the share button in the top right hand corner, I can share this or share it with a caption, or I can go ahead and hit new, and it's going to continue or discard my changes. So I'll hit continue editing. And maybe I made a mistake on this one, so I'll hit undo, and you see it brings me back out. Hit undo again, it brings me back out from my crop. Hit redo, and it go ahead and saves everything right there. So I'll share this. Go ahead and tap share. I can do it with messages, mail, Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, or Evernote, and then even assign it to contact, save image, or copy and print. So if I tap Evernote, it's going to go and send this note off to Evernote, and now I can hit new, and it's going to bring me into a new palette. And I can load up the menu again, hit the new button, and you see it's going to bring me here to create a new note right here on Sketch for the iPhone.